ELA Masters, now it's your turn. Go ahead and make sure that you have a blank piece of paper for your PO codes as you're going through our questions today for independent practice. Remember, try your best to work on this without an adult or a sibling, and just try your best on your own. As a reminder, the fiction text that we're going to read tomorrow, The Bracelet, is about a Japanese-American girl named Emmy, and she lives in California in the 1940s. Hmm, thinking about our facts, and based on what you now know about this time period, what do you predict might happen in the story? Write an RAC response with at least one piece of evidence from our facts that we learned about to support your thinking. Make sure that you start with, I predict. ELA Masters, I don't know about you, but I did a lot of reflecting as I was reading this piece. And like I said, if you happen to have either a blank notebook at home or a blank piece of paper, you can make your historical fiction journal or reflection paper as fancy or not as fancy as you want. If you'd like to think or reflect more on what we've read today, feel free to ask yourself, do you think Japanese Americans deserve to be sent to the internment camps and why or why not? Then imagine what it must be like leaving your life behind to live in an internment camp. Think about your perspectives, how you would think or feel. And what can you see, smell, hear, taste, or touch? ELA Masters, thank you so much for showing so much hard work today. And I can't wait to talk more about historical fiction with you all in this unit. Don't forget, you can show your journals and your reflections to your teachers in office hours. Have a great day, scholars.